We have come sp specifically to the uh, GES uh, for two reasons. One is um, we launched our supply chain blockchain challenge, which is a $10,000 challenge to entrepreneurs between the age of 35 to come up with a or some solutions to how we use blockchain to really make the supply chain um, efficient so that was a big launch yesterday great attendance lots of excitement around it so we're very excited about that but really it's part of a greater program we call rises which we are focusing on entrepreneurs and fintech globally uh, we've got hubs both in London and Whitechapel and in Notting Hill. We've just opened one in um, New York. We opened uh, one in Johannesburg and one in uh, Cape Town yesterday. And we are looking to open up in Kenya as well and uh, some of the other African countries. So uh, this is really important for us to be part of it. We believe that uh, the youth and entrepreneurship is really one of the solutions for social inequality globally and for job creation and so we're very focused on being part of that wave um, not only for citizenship reasons but uh, if we can help global growth it helps our business as well it's a, it's a great question because it, it is difficult I was just speaking to one of the venture capital funds here in uh, Kenya who says uh, 65 percent of his investments fail uh, and so you're looking for you know one out of three to succeed and that's why it's very difficult for banks especially in the new capital regime uh, we get uh, heavily uh, um, penalized for equity investments as a bank and it's all part of this uh, new regulatory regime post 2008 and so there's gonna have to be a lot of work done on how do we how do governments regulate the central banks actually make it easy for banks to invest because at the moment we're not operating on the same level playing field as a corporate for example where a corporate doesn't get a capital charge against an investment and especially uh, where you've got a, a two out of three failure it makes it very very expensive for us to do and therefore when we give money to an entrepreneur it's incredibly expensive because one of them has to pay for the other two that are going to fail and so we really need to come up with innovative ways on how to um, support